tell you about that. I mean, I, I remember that record. We'll talk about it more when those two records came out. Me and Chris were, had a couple conversations on the phone while oh, yeah. we were making those records. Wow. So it was, uh, uh, there's a lot of, I feel close to both of those records, put it that way. <laughs> well, why don't you go ahead and tell me about the time recording? Uh, I remember uh, Chris had gotten a hold of me, wanted to talk and just chat. And we were doing Dogman. We were in Atlanta, Georgia at the time. And uh, they were making Super Unknown. Uh -huh. uh, and so, uh, you know, I, we hadn't talked much, you know, and I, I'm, he's a fan and I'm a fan. So when we're around each other, we get kind of starstruck, both of us too. It takes us a while to just to, 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 to talk. But uh, so he said, give him a call. I'm like, okay. And so I called him up and we had about an hour and a half, two hour talk. And it was just, we talked about a lot of things in life, but the, the one thing we talked about was singing. Uh, we talked about how high we sang and how we, we were not, neither one of us are tenors. We're right. both sort of like middle between baritone and tenor, you know? And uh, he said, you know, he says, I sing so high, I got nowhere to go. And I go, me too, I can only scream so high. And we, would, we laughed about it and had some great conversations about singing high. Mm -hmm. And then uh, at the end of the conversation, I said, man, let's croon on, on our records, the new records that are coming out. Let's, let's do some crooning. He goes, yeah. And then I remember when that record came out, there was Black Hole Sun. And then we had uh, Flies and Blue Skies. You know, I remember even when we were doing an interview uh, for Rolling Stone, the, the interviewer came in and said, uh, she said, uh, Spoon Man, Dog Man. So were you influenced by Soundgarden? And I immediately just went, ah, you know, I was like, no. You know, it was, I mean, both songs, they came out at the same time. We never heard each other do that stuff. But it really it bothered me because Soundgarden always got the kudos uh, because everybody was into them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I, I feel in our own creative way, we ran neck and neck with them, you know, in our own way. We yeah. were both creating this, this down-tuned, melodic, Black Sabbath groove grunge thing, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and I've always felt akin to him. I've known him for a good long time too. And uh, both of us talk about like uh, guitar tunings and weirdness, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, this one song, you, uh, I, I think was Mind Riot. It was all E, all strings were E. Oh. He said, dude, I wrote Mind <laughs> Riot. It was just all E's. <laughs> we just laughed about it. I didn't even realize that about Mind Riot, but I'll have to take it. Another listen yeah, to it. It, the whole these are a string to E. All of them are <laughs> E's, highs and lows. <laughs> How many E's did you get? Just three across? Huh? I think he did. I forgot he explained Low, middle, what it was, but I forgot now. But there was there was some, yeah. several octaves. I mean, low, high, high, or whatever, he, whatever he could get on the strings. I guess I really don't know how he did it. Yeah, yeah. Literally, I never. I, I just thought it was so crazy. I wasn't even going to try it. <laughs> right. 